Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the solution for error MySQL shutdown unexpectedly. So this is really simple. If I now click on start, it will automatically shut down. So in order to fix it, you just need to go to what you have downloaded your XAMPP. So I have downloaded my XAMPP in my uh, local disk C. So I'll go to my local disk C. Then here you can see you have the XAMPP folder. So I'll just go inside the XAMPP folder. Then inside the same folder, you need to look for the MySQL folder. So here you can see MySQL folder. So I'll just go inside. And inside MySQL, here you can see we have a folder called data. So first of all, we're going to rename this folder. So I'll just right click. And then click on this rename option. Let's say the new name will be data underscore old. So right now, we're going to create a folder called data. So let me just right click here. Then click on new. And then I'll click on folder so the folder name will be data so that's why we rename this to data underscore old so right now we'll go inside this data underscore old folder and i'm going to copy some folder from here so i'll just copy all the folder just copy all the folder except those four folder dashed pcmy admin purple schema and mysql except those four folder copy every folder then just go down and here you can see uh, we have one more file here called IB data on. So just press on control then click on it and this will be selected. After that just press control C or just right click and then here you can see the copy option. So I'll just click on it and it will be get copied. So after that just go back and whatever we just copied from here we'll just paste it inside this data folder that we just created. So control V or just paste it here there you can see so after that let's go back again then we need to go to this backup folder so just double click on the backup folder and i'm going to copy everything from here except this on file call ib data on so i'll just copy this then go back then we'll go inside that data folder and then we'll just paste whatever we just copied so i just right click and then click on paste and there you can see we have four new folder and some files there. So right now, let's just minimize this and let's go to our XAMPP. Let's just close this. Let me just search over here. XAMPP control panel. Click on it. Right now, if I click on Apache, they can see it got started. And if I now click on my spell start, it got started properly. So this is how you can solve your issue. MySQL shut down unexpectedly. I hope this was easy for you. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.